sometimes I hit the trailhead and roll in late at night and I don't want to unpack my backpack and then repack everything first thing the next morning. And so I want a different solution for setting up camp. Or it's like this past week where I went down to San Antonio and did some uh, wilderness first aid teaching and didn't have a really good spot to set up camp. So I wanted a solution that would allow me to camp comfortably in my vehicle without just laying the seat back and going. Uh, I'm in a Ford F-150. I do have the six and a half foot bed. I didn't want to put a snug cap on here because I do haul hay for the horses and it just seemed to be more problematic. Uh, so I was looking for a solution that was going to fit me just right. Walk you guys through what I've settled in on that I've been using for about the last year. This is the right line gear uh, truck tent. Let's go check it out. One of my big considerations with this is I do run a ton of cover on here, which I like because it keeps my stuff secure and my bed's not completely open. So I need to need a solution that's going to work with this. But then, as you can also see, I always have a ton of stuff back in the back of my truck. So I had a pretty specific list of stuff that I wanted uh, out of a truck tent option. To me, that while whatever solution I had worked along with this tonic cover, I wanted to be able to utilize this and use it as a, as a possible shelf inside my shelter. And then I didn't also wanted to not have to clean everything out inside my butt truck bed to set stuff up. Inside here, I'm usually running some kind of cooler that I'm carrying. Sit the back, there's a big toolbox back there. It's just one of these big smart bin things. Uh, that's where actually where this tent stays, along with a ton of other stuff like tools and things like that. And then I've got this cover in here that's just kind of my catch all stuff for the trip. It's usually the first thing I'll do throw the cooler down here at the bottom. Makes for a nice little step to get back up into the tailgate and get inside the tent once I get it up and moving. So let's get it open and see what all we've got in here. It's a nice ample size bag. You don't have to really work too hard to squeeze everything in here. You should have three items in here. First is going to be the rain fly. Set that aside. A secondary bag that's just those tent poles. Uh, there's actually three poles in here, uh, two that are color coded uh, that make up the X that crosses the main body of the tent. And there's one more that uh, has black tips on it. Uh, it makes over, it, it makes the dome that goes over the doorway. And aside from that, it's pretty much just the tent. So we're gonna set the poles and the rain fly out of the way and let's get started. So the most important thing when you're putting this tent up is to find the door, because obviously the door is gonna go right here over the main uh, body of the tailgate. So when I try to unroll it, pretty much just looking for it. And there's this huge strap. It's this one really long strap. It actually goes underneath the tailgate. And when you find it, you know you found the door. So at that point, I'm pretty much just leafing it out and making sure I've got the right end facing up. And I've got this big netting over here. That's the front of my door. Do So from here, the first thing I'm gonna do is just hook this underneath my tailgate. It doesn't have to be anything extravagant. It's just gonna help hold it into place. Kind of go through and just make sure I don't have any of my other straps caught inside here. And it'll just kind of help hold the front of the, the uh, shelter forward. And there are also, uh, toward the front in the door, there's these two yellow or uh, two orange uh, individual straps. I hook them right in here on the inside of my bed into these two tie down points. And these are actually the lifters for the tent. And if you don't put these in, and we're going to snug these up later. If you don't put these in, uh, the whole tent will kind of settle down inside of the inside of the bed of the truck. You, this actually helps lift it up and maintain that position. So from here, I'm just kind of spreading this out just generally into position. Doesn't have to be anything exact. I'm just sort of getting it spread out, getting, getting things hopefully layered into the correct positions. Once we get it generally laid out, tuck my little window back up inside there. I'm gonna pull these back corners out. I'm just gonna tuck these back corners in right here. I'm just gonna pull the strap down and hook it underneath the body over here. It doesn't have to be tight. Uh, it's just helping keep, kind of keep it pulled to the back here. Tuck this up inside here. This is my little pouch. None of the stuff has to be snug on here, but let's go through and pull all of our straps out and make sure nothing's tangled up. Then we'll do the other side. So our next step is really to start assembling the poles here. I'm gonna go through and take out, this is the, I uh, told you there are two in here that have got the orange tips on them. They're gonna make up the body of it. 
And then we got one that has a gray tip over here that's gonna be over the door. Just gonna separate these out, stick them all together, and generally put them in the right spot. They're pretty straightforward to put up. That one's gonna go across like that. This is the one for the door. Just go ahead and put it together and set it out the way here so it's done. And this is the other one that goes across the body. Pretty long poles, but we end up with quite a bit of headroom inside this tent, which is always nice. So now that we have these generally into place, we'll start feeding these through. And you definitely want to, to uh, get all of these in before you lift it, before you actually hook the ends, because if you don't, it's really hard to get the second one in. I'm just gonna thread this through. This takes just a moment here. All right, that one's through. Come to the other side over here. Thread it through as well. So now that these are in, we're actually going to start tucking these poles into these little pouches at the very end. So actually just tuck right up into here on all four corners. It's just a little pouch. I like to do the two at the back first and then come up and do the ones in the front. It just seems to, seems to go up a little easier that way. As long as you haven't uh, ratcheted down all these straps and stuff on the side, by and large, the tent goes up pretty easily. But I did figure out very early on that if you will unzip the door about halfway or two thirds of the way, uh, the tent does seem to go up a little smoother. One up, tucked in. Plane going up is really loud. Usually the fourth one, it's a little snug going in here. But like I said, if we, we don't have the tent pulled down too tightly on the sides, and leave just a little bit of room in our door, it's usually pretty, usually pretty easy to go up. All right, so now we've got the tent up, by and large. So now we need to come back in with our third pole here. Now this one's a little bit tricky because it's gonna go inside this orange sleeve through here, but you have to tuck it through that hole and this hole here. Now that that's tucked in, I'm actually gonna turn it. It's gonna come down the side here. We're gonna put these two clips in after we tuck the end into this little pouch right here. And we're gonna do that on both sides. So turning one down into the pouch. I'm gonna clip my little two new clamps. We'll slide around to the other side and do the same thing. You guys can see that's gonna create the bow that will be our door. Holds that out nice and taut. Put our little clips on. Those look just like this from the side. And then right into here. You notice there's a huge gap in here. It's because we haven't actually tied the tarp down, tied the tent down. All that stuff will get a little bit snugger as we go. But the next big thing is you gotta get the uh, get the doorway stretched around the tailgate. And the easiest way I have found to do this is just lift the tailgate up, tuck it inside, all the way down. Now, I don't want to just drop the tailgate because I don't want stretching and tearing things this stuff is quite snug. Just put a little positioning here to get things in the right spot. Should all settle down pretty nicely. So now that we have the tent on, as you can see, it's kind of snug a long way. I'm looking for this to be relatively parallel with the ground as we come through here. And we can start cinching some of this stuff down, making it a little bit tighter. Now, if you're going to be in a lot of wind and you're worried about this hitting inside of your truck and messing up your paint, uh, which I haven't had any issues with it, uh, you can put a little microfiber or something underneath there. When you get back here on this back corner, it's a little odd because you've got two straps really close together. One is going to come down under the frame here. And 
we're just going to pull it some tight now this other one it's actually meant to go across this way and cinch down because when we do that it's actually going to help close this gap underneath here so that you don't get as much uh, much of an open gap inside the, the uh, tent so i'll usually come underneath here clip it onto that bar on this f-150 and then grab it and snug it down and then we'll do the same thing on the other side this one's already cinched down a little bit good should have a nice overlap right here so the rain will run down through here if it rains and then off between the bed and the calf so again just trying to snug all this up so that it's generally pretty parallel a little snug right here pull the strap out come underneath the bed and here's ours it's going to come across and back here to this bar run right back here and pull it pretty snug so here we have the whole tent set up on top of the truck you can see it's pretty pretty good size headroom in there got these huge big triangular windows that go all the way through uh, these zip up in the corner so you can close this off if you need to and then as we look inside you see you got a couple big triangular windows at the top too mesh kind of a moonroof ish approach give you plenty plenty of airflow all of this unzips so that you get the, the full door is a window as well so you can get plenty of air inside there let's unzip and take a look inside first at the doorway you've got some pretty big toggle tie outs here where you could we could pull all this around tuck it in here and keep the door completely open if we needed to i typically don't but these are these orange straps we talked about hooking off to the bed it lifts it up you know if it looks uneven you can just kind of pull and tighten these up on the two sides and uh, that works really nicely hook up at the top hang your light in a couple of these little pouches on the side over here to put stuff in just have to kind of pull these out and straighten them out you can see the windows inside these are just a zip up window covers i usually leave those down as you guys can see with this setup though it gives me plenty of room inside here i actually put this organizer up here on that shelf it's usually where my clothes and all that fun stuff goes take the smart band and I turn it 90 degrees down the side over here and that leaves perfect little chute right through here for my cot to go tuck my feet in there Topo's bed goes over here the setup has actually worked really well for us okay so when it comes to putting the rain fly on let's go ahead and just zip this back closed so that it's out of the way for us here Now, if I have a complaint about this tent, it's when the zipper gets about right here, it will get kind of snug sometimes, which you can see right now, it's really not. It gets snug right here on these corners where it flares out on both sides. Uh, if it's pulled down too tightly over here, the zipper's really tight. Usually all you have to do is just loosen it up on the sides and then it's not bad at all. You guys can see this is flowing really smoothly, but the first couple of times I put it up, it kind of surprised me how snug that got. Okay, so now when it comes to the rain fly, I'm looking for one thing when I open it up. It usually takes me just a moment to find it. It's usually over here on the gray section. And that is just the little Fox logo here. Once you know, once you find this, you know that that goes right here over the doorway. So then from there, I'm just rolling off to the corner. And I'm looking for these little metal, these little plastic clips. Because they're going to go right in here. Off to the side. There's three down each side. And they're going to hook generally close to where the poles are. So once I get the first one hooked, even in relatively high wind, you can just kind of pull them around and make it all work. If I can get one side hooked, I can usually just stand up. Pull the other side over, clip it down, just sort of continuing down the side here and snugging these on up. Show you how these clip in the corners here in just a moment.
Okay, so you can just see they clip in here. There's another one right here. Snug that up just so it's a little closer to the bed. Snug this one up. And you'll see that they pretty much cover up these triangular windows. So when you got the rainfall on here, you do lose that airflow from there and also the top as well. All right, so here we have it all the way up assembled. This typically takes me about 10 minutes if I'm really not messing around with it. And I know I put it up in not much more than that in pretty high wind in the dark. I think it took me about 12 minutes that night to put it up. Okay, so I sat in this tent uh, in the back of the truck now, kind of over the, off and on over the last year. I've used it, I don't know, probably four times. Uh, sat through some pretty good rain one night. Uh, this, will, this past week, I sat through a really good windstorm. Uh, I yoked it down and got it a little bit tighter on the sides. No issues with it whatsoever. I haven't combined a lot of rain and wind at the same time. Don't have a reason to think that it's going to be, be problematic at all. I said great. Paid just under 200 for the tent. I think it was like 180, uh, somewhere between 140 and 180. I'll throw a link to it in the description below just in case you guys are in the market and interested. Um, it's been a good tent so far. Like I said, it, it met the need of, of something simple that I could throw up at the trailhead or just at convenience when I was doing classes. I didn't have to take everything out of the bed could integrate and use my tonic cover and gave me plenty of room to kind of stretch out me with the dog and us both have plenty of room inside a lot of airflow keep us nice and secure it's met all the needs it checked all the boxes without us having to go through and do some kind of big elaborate you know like a like a snub cap on top and or or even even a rooftop tent where i had to put in a rack or something like that uh, it's definitely met the need um, so far I'm, I'm overly pleased with it let's take it down Okay, so as you can see, it goes up pretty quickly, comes down even faster. It's checked all the boxes. It wasn't overly expensive. It's set up cleanly inside without emptying the bed of my truck out. I could use the tonic cover as a shelf inside there. I don't have any complaints. Like I said, it took a little finagling to kind of get, get used to the touch with how tight to make it on the side so that the door wasn't snug. Uh, but outside of that, it's been golden. Like I said, if you're interested, I'll throw a link down in the description below. Uh, if you're out on the trail watching this, as always, just remember, left foot, right foot repeat. We'll see you out there soon.